In today's episode of The Tenant, I'm in Delhi. In Delhi, I'm in one of the most premium locations of the city. I'm in Hoskas. Our tenant today are two bachelors who are political consultants. Why are they staying over here? What works for them and what doesn't? Let's meet them. Hi, Kanish. Hi, Vishal. How are you? Very well. Good to see you. Lovely meeting you, Vishal. So, this is your home? Yes, this is my home. Please come in. That's Aditya. Hi. Hi, I'm Vishal. Hi. So, okay. What is, what is the unique thing about this home? How big is it firstly? So, this is a 900 square feet apartment. It's a 2 BHK. And it's right in the heart of Hoskas. Okay. Why Hoskas? It's the best, one of the best areas in Delhi. You have like a great market close by. I have a nice uh, park that I go to every day to run. It's like two minutes away. And you just have to cross the road and there are great bars and restaurants and good places to hang out. So, so this is like a vibrant neighborhood? Yes. yes. Okay. Plus he's a runner, so it helps that a, a park is A park is very close by. Okay. And your workplace? Uh, is in Noida. Is in Noida. So why not stay in Noida then? Uh, we prefer to stay here because we feel that the crowd is better. We get to, I personally, I have a lot of friends in Delhi and Gurugram and staying in Noida would just be very, make it very difficult for me to socialize. And anyway, uh, we commute to work together and it takes us 30 minutes either way. Okay. And we do it in a cab so we can still productively utilize that time. Okay. So both of you are political consultants. Yes. yes. Political okay. and governance consultants. Yes. Okay. So, bachelors have it tough to get an apartment anywhere in India. For sure, for sure. Is it even tougher for bachelors who are political consultants? Uh, are landlords slightly uh, even more wary? I'll give you an idea. So, we are both lawyers. We qualified as lawyers and we worked as corporate lawyers. So, when uh, landlords first hear bachelor, they get scared. The second thing they, they get scared is when we say that we're lawyers. Yep. So it's actually a bit easier for us to get a house when we say that we're consultants and like, since it's Delhi, it's a very political place in itself. It has the center of government. Politics is still relatively accepted better here. Okay, so what part of this apartment gets used the most by you guys? Uh, I think it's our dining table, definitely. Okay. Yeah. So, like we have our meals here. A lot of times when we are working from home, we prefer to work here in the hall. I work from the table and my and Kanish prefers to work from here, from the sofa. Yes. And uh, generally, even when we have friends over, we hang out here in the hall. Yes. We spend time here. We have food. Okay, for, for for viewers who are not very familiar with political consulting, what do political consultants do? Right. So I'll break it down. So the idea is that we help craft strategies for political parties to win, help them win elections. A lot of our job involves a lot of research, analysis that we can get give good insights to our client like mm. at the end of the day we're in the service industry we are consultants we are basically management consultants for political parties and do you notice some big differences between how india really is right so there are multiple tiers of uh, multiple economic stratas right and uh, i would say that we are fairly privileged and uh, this one interesting thing that i came to know after i entered this space and after reading is what does being middle class in India actually mean? Uh, we'll so ask you this, uh, Vishal, what do you think uh, the income, or uh, what do you think is the monthly income that a middle class person right. in India earns? 20,000? You are fairly You're right. close by. 25, 25,000. And I would, we, both of us are corporate lawyers, right? I remember a stipend at a tier one law firm that I worked with was around 25,000. So while you are in college, you are making that as an intern. Okay, so this is the living dining room where you yes. guys spend most of yeah. your time. I can see the Bombay poster over there. So both yes. of you are nostalgic about uh, India's commercial capital. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I was born and raised in Mumbai uh, and like I've lived all of my life there. And this is the first, like this is one of the first times that I'm actually moving to another city. And I truly believe there's no city like Mumbai in India. It's the best place to live it has the it may not have the best infrastructure but it has the best people in this country 
It's an everlasting tussle, right? The Delhi Bombay debate. Which which one is better? I'd say I am slightly tilted towards Bombay, but Delhi is becoming more endearing. The yeah, I I will say that. Like, uh, so since I've been in Delhi, I've noticed that the roads are wider, the traffic is less, and also I'm a runner, so I like to run. But in Mumbai, I have to run in the streets where every three months I would get hit by a rickshaw at least once. <laughs> okay, uh, this will be your what uh, one one of your two bedrooms, right? right. Yes. Was the size of the bedroom a factor in uh, finalizing this apartment? He was the one who was looking for the houses and uh, being bachelors, it becomes a bit difficult for us to get houses. So we contacted a good broker who operates here in South Delhi. But the options that she could give us were very limited because we were bachelors. And also we were looking for a 2 BHK. Like all the options were either 3 BHK or 4 BHKs. One of the uh, shortlisted options was a place which was a bit uh, like it was a very nice place. It was fully furnished for a similar price. Lovely place. I'd Lovely say. place. This one slight hiccup was that uh, the owner was affiliated to a political party which was working against the party that we were representing. So that could have been a conflict of interest, and I didn't want any hiccups with respect to our work. So we decided to chuck that place. Okay, and all this furniture over here uh, came with the apartment. Oh uh, no! So the, we got this Almira from the landlord. Okay. But and a few other small things from the landlord, like uh, the small chair there. But otherwise, most of the apartment, most of the furniture in this apartment, we have rented. Why, like, why, why not buy it? Renting makes a lot more sense, and I'll tell you why. We, for firstly, the nature of our job, right? We could have, we could be deputed to a particular state, uh, right in the middle of an election, election cycle, right? And uh, let's say we might have to leave the house and perhaps uh, shift to another city. Usually that isn't the case, but it's certainly a possibility. And keeping that in account, it makes sense to rent. Moving a lot of furniture, buying it is investment. It's like a uh, capex at the beginning. You you spend a lot of money, yes. and also moving it is an expense in itself. So when you rent it, the the company just takes it back. They assemble it, they bring it, and they also transport it back. So, and this will be the bathroom. Yes, yeah. this is the bathroom. What's the best thing about the apartment according to you? What's the, the location. Location, yes. Okay. And I guess it it has a we have been told I don't I've, I Our neighbor was uh, Sev Virinda Sevag. No, is that is Virinda Sevag. Yeah, yeah. Oh he stays here. No, uh, it's one his of his house primary is here, houses. Primary house is here, but he stays in his farmhouse that is outside Delhi right now. Okay. So basically you guys are right next door. Yeah. Okay. You, you guys are close to one famous cricketer. Yes. One famous cricketer. Okay. So so this bedroom is done? Yeah. yeah. Uh, up will be the second bedroom. Yes. And the kitchen. Yes. That's the balcony. That's the balcony. That's where we. That's where we operate the washing machine and we generally do our laundry. laundry I mean, yes. it doesn't have a good, particularly good view. Just gives gives like some sunlight. So, like we just use it for our laundry. Okay. And this is the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. That's a pretty clean kitchen for uh, two bachelors. Right? Right? Yes, for sure. Luckily, we have a good uh, maid who she does, she makes great food and she cleans up really well. Our jobs are any anyway very stressful and we have late nights or early mornings and like a lot of days where we're just working long hours. So we at least would want that food scene sorted out where we get good nutritious food. Interestingly, we have an arrangement where my mother she, because uh, I'm an only child, she's very particular about what I eat. So she'll call up the maid in the morning and she'll be on video call with the maid ki ye, ye tail use karo, ye sabzi use karo and she'll direct her exactly what to make. And it's right there on the table every single morning. So kudos to my mom for uh, taking all this time out for me. She's, a, she's doing long distance management <laughs> in the yes, kitchen. Yes. Okay. And and one good thing is we align with respect to like how we should maintain the house. Yes. That we that we we agree on the fact that we should spend this much to get good quality food, good quality ingredients. Then the house should be this clean, so we will spend that much on like professional cleaners. So basically, we both are in a way unusual bachelors because perception about bachelors is that they keep things very messy. Certainly, right. And we would like to set a good example. Like even after watching this video, if like one uh, one house owner is convinced that bachelors can be uh, good hygienic, tenants. good tenants. And I think we have done our job by setting a decent example. Okay, so this is your second bedroom. This is also yes, quite spacious. So this is my bedroom, Vishal. And uh, 
the charm of this bedroom are perhaps the fairy lights. I prefer to create a good vibe in my room and the lights certainly add to that good music and good lights. I feel that's the key to any good bedroom and of course, uh, clean sheets, clean clothes. I, I'm from Bombay and uh, I'm used to like houses that are very small and like are restricted. So when I come go to other cities, especially now when I'm in Delhi, the houses are just huge, the rooms are big and spacious and you have like the balcony. I'm not used to seeing ha like houses having a balcony because usually the practice is uh, balcony hai to under le lo, space bad jayega. One of the reasons which motivated me to move to Delhi was that Bombay is really expensive. I wasn't saving a lot. Uh, in Delhi, because the rents are significantly lower, uh, that's definitely a selling point for uh, for me at least. Living in Mumbai was cheaper for me <laughs> because uh, I used to stay with my parents. We lived in a 2 BHK apartment in uh, Mulund, which and it was around 650 square feet. So, fairly spacious for Mumbai for 2 BHK. And it so, was so, so, you are upgraded from 650 to 900? Yeah, 650 to 900. It has been an upgrade for me. Okay, this will be the bathroom. Yes, yeah. that will be the one. Both the bathrooms seem to be done tastefully. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. So, how much rent are you guys paying for this? So, we're paying 50,000 and that's 25,000 each. Uh, it's relatively steep for horse cars, but the thing is, we're not really paying for the house itself. It's the locality, it's the people who are living here, and the vibe. We have really stressful jobs, I'd say, uh, and we want to unwind after work. And I feel this area in itself helps. Uh, our bosses have told us why aren't you living uh, closer to office. A lot of our co colleagues have also told us you should save money, live in Noida, be closer to office. But I'd say you need to sometimes perhaps live away from office and have a life of your own. Okay. So, so this is in a way like the uh, Bandra or Kolaba of Delhi. Yes, yes, for sure. For sure. People very good parallel. People people pay not for the uh, building, which often is shabby and uh, terrible looking. But they pay for the vibe around and yes, around. Hundred yes. percent. Okay. Can we check it out? For sure. We'd oh, love to show you. Around. So Vishal, this is the Bandra of Delhi. Okay. We are currently in Gulmohar Park, which is right like two minutes walking from our house. I come for runs here regularly. It's an amazing park. And right close by, we have like great cafes, restaurants, bars, and like the nightlife here is amazing. How is connectivity from here? Connectivity, so we are located between two metro stations. Either metro station is just a 10 minute walk. So we get out from our house and we can like easily access the yellow line and the magenta line both. So it's a boon with respect to connectivity. Okay. What's the weakness about being here? You said many good things. You said it's the banter of uh, Delhi, it has a nightlife, it has the uh, pubs, the bars. What's the one thing that's lacking about this area? Uh, the one thing that I would say this area lacks, like actually like a lot of places in Delhi lack, is that the we don't have like a lot of amenities in our society. Like if you were to get a house in a place like Noida or like Gurgaon, you'll get a society, you'll get like a huge society with like a lot of amenities like a swimming pool like a gym like a tennis court inside the society but that is not something we have here basically you said about metro that that you have connectivity to two lines do you guys use the metro a lot uh, sometimes when we want to go to a place which is really further away and makes logistical sense for us to take the metro for sure we do have no problem taking the metro why we take a cab to office is perhaps because we we usually are in a rush going to office and we have to catch up on our work and so we cannot really afford spotty network we have to take calls we have to be on documents online so it makes sense for us to take a cab instead and also your work is confidential so you can't do it in public yeah. yeah okay what next for you guys you guys want to be now in delhi only uh, you stayed in you said quite a few cities seven cities yes he stayed in mumbai uh, is delhi the final stop uh i don't think so i think delhi is one stop I really feel like my home will still be Mumbai and I would eventually like to go to Mumbai. Okay, on that note, uh, Kanishk, Aritya, thank you for coming on The Tenant. Uh, interesting uh, profession both of you are in. I don't know how many people know the type of role that political consultants play. So yeah, thank you for sharing that story along with your housing journey. And yeah, good luck staying in Bombay, Gurgaon or any of the cities where you want to be in. Thank you so much. Thank Come you so here. much, Vishal.
thanks for the report card. This is a 2 BHK of 900 square feet uh, uh, building, a standalone building, so no amenities. Uh, uh, location, this is amongst the most vibrant neighbourhoods of uh, Delhi. Uh, connectivity, well connected to key parts of uh, Delhi as well as uh, Noida. So all in all, if you're a person that's looking for a vibrant neighbourhood, uh, wants, is willing to pay a sort of a premium to be in this uh, sort of locality, uh, isn't very hung up about amenities, uh, this is a sort of project and location that can be considered. Oh,